Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we are back with another episode of Best and Worst. And this week, we're taking a look at Tier 5 American Battleships. There's five of them now with the release of Primal, which of course is the battleship with the not-so-ape uh, on it when you're actually in battle. So I figured you guys really enjoyed the uh, German battleship video from last week. So we may get more and more into these uh, ships by tier by nation because there's quite a few ones where we have a lot of nations and a lot of ships. Anyways, if you haven't watched one of these videos before, basically what we do is we go through and look at all the stats. We enter them into a spreadsheet. We give the ships plus two points if they are the best at the tier at something, minus two points if they're the worst at the tier, uh, minus one point if they're the second worst, plus one if they're the second best. Then we add all those numbers up together. And in theory, we should get some sort of mathematical proof that a ship is the best or the worst. I then weigh in on that and also give my opinion on the matter. As I said previously, this week we're looking at tier five American battleships. So that's going to be the New Mexico, the California, the Primal, the West Virginia, and the Arizona. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk at what is the best, according to the numbers, American battleship, and it's going to be the California. Now, in order to earn the California, you would have had to have done the Red, White, and Blue Bureau project. If you have not started it already, unfortunately, that project has been vaulted, so you cannot currently earn the California unless you have previously started the Red, White, and Blue Bureau project, or if you've completed it, then you have earned the ship. Let's go ahead and start breaking down those stats so she does have the highest hp at the of the ships at 58,300, with a minimum armor thickness of three and a maximum armor th thickness of 457 she has a 40 percent chance a uh, 40 uh, percent torpedo reduction on her armor belt and she has four three barreled 356 millimeter guns firing range middle for the tier at 15.6 kilometers reload time uh tied for the best at 30 seconds, giving her the most shells per minute of any of the ships we're looking at today at 24. 180 time on those guns is the ship average, the tier average of 60 uh, seconds with an HE damage of 5,000. And because she has that fastest reload time, that gives her the highest DPM uh, of these ships when firing HE at 120,000. She does have a 30% chance to set fire with each shell, giving her an 82% chance to set fire per salvo, which uh, is quite high. AP damage is gonna be 10,500. And once again, because of that high, higher fire rate compared to all of the other ships uh, that we're taking a look at today, that gives her a DPM when firing AP of 252,000 damage per minute. Secondaries, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run through these because literally the secondaries are the same for every single ship we're talking about today. The The first set is an eight by 127 millimeter guns with a range of four kilometers, reload time of four and a half seconds, damage 1800 and a 9% chance to set fire. Literally every single ship we're looking at today, that is their secondaries plus another eight by one barreled uh, 127 millimeter gun with just a longer reload time of like seven seconds. All of the ships share pretty much the exact same secondaries. Torpedoes, well, none of these ships have torpedoes, so we don't have to look at that today. But California does also stand out in another way, and that's going to be her anti-air defense. She has the longest range AA guns of any of the ships at five kilometers, with a minimum damage of 121 DPS and a maximum of 594. She is the slowest at 20 and a half knots with a turning radius that matches most of the other ships at 640 meters. Rudder shift time, she does have the slowest of any of the ships at 14.7 seconds. Surprisingly though, she is the stealthiest at a only a 13.5 kilometer sea detectability range and the second best in concealment when it comes to air and smoke at 11.3 kilometers and 12.2 respectively. And overall, I can kind of agree with this. I think California is an excellent ship. She won't be my pick for the favorite, but I think California is simply fantastic. And she is definitely one of my go-tos when I want to play a tier five battleship. 
just because of the all that she offers, especially now that we do have aircraft carriers in the game, her ability to shoot down AA is great. Her relatively high DPM is great. Like, I, I am a big fan of the California. So from that, let's go ahead and talk about what is the worst ship at the tier. And this is one that I also agree and put as my least favorite of, of these ships and what I would consider to be the worst of any of the ones that we were talking about today. And that's going to be the Arizona. So Arizona is the oldest ship that we are talking about today. She does have a, uh, she does have the second best hit points at 57,200 and the thickest minimum armor at a minimum armor thickness of 13 millimeters. Max armor thickness is 457 and she is tied for the worst torpedo protection of these ships at only 37%. She does, have, she does have four three-barreled guns with a uh, caliber of 356 millimeters. Firing range on them tied for lowest at the tier at 15.4 kilometers. Reload time slowest at the tier at 35 seconds. That gives her a shell sprint of 21 with a 180 time of 60 seconds, which is in line with everyone else. HE damage 5,000, giving her a DPM of, th of 105,000 damage per minute when firing HE. When she fires those shells, she has a 30% a chance to set fire, giving her an 82% chance to set fire per salvo. AP damage, she has the lowest of any of the American battleships at 10,300, and the second lowest DPM when firing AP overall at 211,000 total. Secondaries we kind of covered earlier, but they are that standard eight by 127 millimeter that we saw earlier on the California. No torpedoes to speak of for the Arizona. So let's go ahead and head on over to AA range. She has an average minimum range of 4.2 kilometers, but she is tied for the worst AA at 58 damage per second. And uh, she has the second worst max damage in AA at only 115 damage per second. Max speed of the ship, 21 knots with a turning race of 640 meters, which is about the same for everyone else. She has the second worst rudder shift time at 14.6 seconds. Detectability by sea, she's the second best when it comes to concealment by sea at 13.6 kilometers, though she has the uh, second worst detectability by air and in smoke at 11.4 kilometers and 12.3. So overall, that's the Arizona, I think, she just doesn't make up for her stats. She has a lot of like where she's tied for the worst of the tier. And then like the thing that she's majorly tied for the worst of the tier is reload time. And that's going to affect your, your damage. And that's kind of the big thing that you do as a battleship is it's all about the alpha damage. And unfortunately, Arizona just doesn't have it, which is also why Arizona is my personal pick for the worst ship at the tier for tier fives. I just think she doesn't have it when it counts. I personally would be picking New Mexico over this ship. Anyways, so that's the Arizona. Now let's go ahead and talk what I think is the best ship at the tier. And that's going to be the West Virginia. Now, West Virginia is a unique ship. She's essentially the tier six uh, tech tree ship, Colorado. She's in that same class, but she is tiered down. Her big main thing is her 406 millimeter guns. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk through her stats. West Virginia, she does have the lowest uh, HP of any of the ships at 50,200. Armor thickness bet between six and 457 millimeters. Torpedo reduction, she's tied with Arizona at 37%. And she does have the least number of guns at only eight barrels. Though she does make up for it with that 406 millimeter in those as a caliber um and that really counts because it means she can overmatch any battleship at the tier firing range on those guns 15.4 kilometers with a reload time of 30 seconds she does have the lowest numbers of shells per minute at only 16 but that's to be expected when she has the least number of barrels 180 time the quickest of any of the ships at 45 seconds and the highest he damage per shell at 5700 though because once again she has such few uh, shells and such few guns, lowest DPM for HE at 91,200. She does have a 36% chance to set fire and a 76% chance to set fire per salvo. AP damage, highest damage per shell at 12,400. 
with a DPM of 198,400, the lowest DPM of any of the ships. But once again, this thing is going to punch through things that simply any of these other ships we've talked about today simply won't. Matching the secondaries of all the other ships, eight by one barrel, 127 millimeter gun with a range of four kilometers with a reload time of four and a half seconds, secondary damage 1800 and a 9% chance to set fire. AA, she has a, what I would consider to be kind of a letdown, second worst, and that's going to be a 4.2 kilometers, which is uh, tied with three of the other ships. Minimum AA damage, 58, and the lowest max damage of any, the worst AA we've talked about today, at 90 damage per second. Max speed of the ship, ship, 21 knots, which is tied with everyone else other than California. Rudder shift time, 13.7. Detectability by sea, 14 kilometers detectability by air, 11.2, which is somehow the stealthiest of any of them, along with its smoke fire at 12 kilometers, which is also stealthier than any of the ships, which I find a little odd, but hey, it's uh, the West Virginia. It's kind of an odd ship, and she is my favorite, because once again, she just can she can just dump shells into people. Um, she's fairly accurate, and uh, because she has such larger diameter guns, than anyone else, she is just going to do damage to, to other people that you won't see any other ship do. And uh, that counts for it when you need it. And uh, yeah, that's why she is my favorite. Guys, what do you think? Uh, what are your favorite ships of this tier of, of tier five American ships? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.